he would buy paintings from uh, local artists uh, as a uh, kind of acknowledgement of uh, their existence. And uh, it was a nice gesture on his part to have bought that painting at that particular time. The thing about color painting, almost beginning with Impressionism, is that the paintings tend to lose sense of gravity. Color tends to float. As he saw more of it, he started to feel it, you might say. He started to feel it as, as authentic f of art form, art style. And he was always very honest. You know, he, he, he was quite willing to change his mind about something once he started to really, you might say, appreciate it. The black migration developed right after World War I and just built up and slowed down and built up. Well, we were part of that migration. And I can remember arriving in New York, and I'm 13 years of age now, and I've never seen such sights. There's people on the streets and the, looking in the windows and seeing the pool parlors and things like that. And it was just an exciting community. I used much of the uh, primary colors of red, yellow, blue, and the secondary colors of purple, orange, and green. You reduce it to its essence. My image of Duncan Phillips in many ways is that of a, an Albert Pinkham Ryder character, really. He's like the lone figure in the boat, out on the ocean at night, sure of his course, but not necessarily of his destination.